everyone, Merrix here, bringing you another video. This one is on Nikki Cross, Unpredictable. Um, Nikki is the chase this month. She is a modern era chaotic striker. Uh, let's check out the links. Raw, any color move starts with one more. And modern era, gems do 5% more damage. She has one gear, the Unpredictable gear. She's a trainer. Uh, at 6 star, black submission moves do 100% more damage per turn and start with 2 more MP. These have been very useful trainers. Uh, I'm assuming this one will be as well. Um, and I have 6 builds for you guys. You can do a lot with her. <clears throat> a lot of different ways. My favorite one is going to be last. It is my favorite one by a decent amount. Uh, the strap for this one, we got 120% gem damage. And the pyro plate... Whenever you make six or more multiply gems, increases your blue gem damage by 50% for two turns. Uh, no move damage percentage metal for this or anything. Um, so this is what we're going to run with. Uh, six builds. I may do something else at the end, throw a different plate on or something. Don't know. We'll see. Six builds is quite a lot. So let's jump into it. Uh, diving crossbody, 7 MP blue, 178k damage, make 19 multiply gems into blue. Whiplash Neckbreaker, deal 169k damage, choose 7 gems to make into black gems. Cutthroat Neckbreaker, uh, 183k damage, choose a 3x6 area to make into multiplied gems of strength 4. Entourage, we got Woods and Lawler, so we, and Santa Hogan, so everything starts loaded in Feud. And Seamus with the new uh, 12k um, flat coaching ability. It adds quite a lot to this, quite a lot. Uh, if you have these guys, level them up, you'll be using them all the time. So the the idea behind this one is just really quick, fast, uh, easy. Um, when you can take out somebody a little bit lower level than you, kind of a one and done sort of thing. Everything will start loaded. You're going to choose a 3x6 area. That's 18 gems, so it doesn't matter where. Uh, if you want to connect more blue gems, that gets us 1, 2, 3, 4 extra. 171k apiece. And we're going to make those into blue. Uh, this is to recycle. Did you need it? Two clicks, really straightforward, simple, fast kind of thing. Uh, 3.4 million reduced from 4 million. Not bad. Not bad at all, considering how fast and easy it is. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna go through these pretty fast. These first ones. This is uh, similar-ish, different variation. Uh, this is one I could see a drip plate potentially being used on. However. Uh, I don't think it would be that great. For example, much better on Dakota. Um, we're just going to switch one move up. We're bringing in the Tornado DDT. And that's uh, 178k damage, 7 MP black. Uh, force your opponent to skip their turn for one turn. And in, in this case, we're going to choose into the multiplies. So the difference here is we're taking out Seamus to choose more black gems. Um, if you do it right, recyclable, very recyclable with the stun. Uh, so I could see this one getting used a lot. For this one, you would want the Queen's Tiara, uh, which would add 50% black gem damage each cycle. Uh, so not the Pyro Plate for this build, but the Queen's Tiara. Similar to the last moveset, uh, but we're using the stun instead, and we're choosing into the multiplier. So the area you choose here does matter, in my opinion. Um, so we're going to choose right here, because I want to... Uh, I don't have a six-star to go against, so I'm going to sort of <clears throat> like play like we're playing for another turn sort of thing uh, with the stun. She's not going to kick out, but... You can see we can drop the right down here, like so, uh, and we're good there, right? So we can totally do that, and we will. 
And from there, it doesn't matter quite as much what we do. Um, just kind of connecting the dots sort of thing. Making sure we get as many multiplies as possible. Again, TR would buff that. Only hit for 2 million, but it's a stun. Um, and easily recyclable with the multiplies. So it doesn't hit quite as hard as the previous one, um, but you do have that stun lock, right? Okay. Uh, kind of similar-ish here. Um, but slightly different, but we're gonna make bring two new moves in. Nikki is pretty much all about the multiply gems, to be honest. This one is not too bad. Again, not my favorite. That's gonna be the last one. We're just plowing through these. Um, so we're going to bring the finisher in and the sub, and we're going to keep the choose move in. So chokehold is uh, generate 30 random sub gems, 148k for four turns. Uh, remaining is turn into pyro gems that make multiply gems of strength three above them. And that is uh, 6 MP. And then the finisher is the Purge. 10 MP finisher, 197k damage, destroy 20 random multiply gems. So for this one, we are going to get Matt Hardy on. So we're making times fives. Damage has a fairly big variance here uh, because it's random. Let's just do previous marks. It's much faster. Um, Elias to help cycle in feud um, because you only get 3 MP on a 3 match and ideally we're going to make a row break on the bottom and then I'm going to go with Miz because he adds 15% to all colors you could go flat one uh, and hope you hit black and blue sort of thing and go flat like Zombie Edge or, or Seamus or whatever for this one we're just going to use Miz um, because reasons Uh, you don't need 17k Santa for this. That is a big draw point. You're going to start with two. I have feud perks, so this is what you'd start with in feud. Essentially feud perks. I only have plus one MP. So we're going to hit our sub, and that'll load um, the choose. This is uh, great. We want the gems to fall downward, so generally speaking, they will do that over four turns. This time, not so much. You don't need the top row either. Uh, you could do any row you want with this choose. You, we do need to load seven, though. So a four match is five and two more. Um, so you want to look towards that. Uh, ideally, black and blue gems would be good. So like one, two, uh, three, four. That would actually load it in feud. We get some okay-ish um, columns, but we can add to it, right? So we can put one there. And we can put one. And now she's going to destroy 20 random. The blue get buffed with the pyro. Again, Princess Tierra uh, would work here to buff the black. Uh, so would uh, work quite well, actually. Would um, dog eared gremlin plate that would buff black and red a uh, hundred percent. I'm sorry, blue and red 100%. That would work as well. Um, all those are options. So you can see that's going to drain, recycle pretty easily. Another solid move set. Hits okay damage wise. Uh, this one initially I thought was going to be awesome. It kind of not really for me. Alright, so let's bring in the two red moves we haven't seen. These are the last two you haven't seen. Now you've seen everything. We're going to bring in the Bulldog. And the body avalanche both 5 mp reds although they are quite cheap um charge so that's always nice 5 mp are always appreciated so body avalanche deal 124k damage to the 3 by 2 area to make into trap gems broken by you deal 99k damage four random gems into multiply gems of strength four broken by your opponent deal 308k damage increase your black mp by five bulldog uh, 148k damage makes six trap six trap gems into black gems so we put this down, we turn them black, we get multiply gems out, we fill the finisher. 
I uh, need to keep Elias. Um, I have Miz on there because, again, it's random multipliers. And then uh, we're going to go... Matt's going to stay on there. Uh, and we're going to trade Lawler out for Butch. This previous button has sped this up a lot for me. Oops. Uh, come here, Butchy Butch. Uh, so easily start loaded in feud at 5 MP. Uh, would start loaded in Blitz as well. Uh, so that's kind of nice. Uh, it's, I don't know if the, the skill plate will proc off of the trap, so we can kind of keep an eye on that. Blues right now are 21k damage, so. Put our traps down, we're going to change those black and get multiply gems out. Does work on the traps. Cool. Uh, and then we're just going to destroy him up. Nothing to slow your opponent down here. So it's uh, one and done. And you can see it just doesn't hit super hard. So to me it was very disappointing. Uh, it does. It is going to recycle pretty well and stuff. Um, but eh, that one wasn't exciting. So uh, here come the triple color ones. Actually, yeah, no, I think you have, we have seen all the moves we have. Here's triple black. Uh, drip plate. People might be into a drip on here again. I think Dakota is a far better choice. And if you, you definitely have Dakota. So I wouldn't drip this either. Uh, just saying. But triple black, you're going to look to probably stun lock them, but you have to get kind of creative to do that. In feud, anyway. Again, you've seen all the moves, right? Um, so we need a Lundra, and we need Elias to do that. And 17k Santa Hogan. So triple black won't be for everybody. You're going to need a Lundra. And then we're going with... Uh, whoops. Let's go previous Woodsy. Elias stays on, and then you need 17k Santa to start... Um, the stun loaded turn one and two. So obviously with a black match, it reloads the stun every time. And once we get to where we're hitting the finisher, it should be no issue. So really it's just that first one. Um, no sub or anything. So again, you could use the Pyro Princess Plate like M now or the Tiara, Queen's Tiara. Either would be fine. Uh, you could also use a Swipe Plate potentially. Get more black gems on the board. Anyway, um... This one works out fine for us. And also, you can put your multiplies kind of wherever, right? Like, uh, we are going to swipe the black gems. Um, so in this case, wouldn't have necessarily needed the matchy match, but that's more to be safe rather than sorry. So you probably wouldn't need that now that I think about it. If you have the black match, you have the black match. So you could probably do away with Elias, to be honest, uh, and not worry about that with Alundra. Um, yeah. But, like, from this point on, it's very unlikely they're not going to be stunned every turn, and you're going to be doing the, um... So, like, if you have Memrock, put him in place of Elias, I guess. Or, uh... Yeah, I would say Memrock. And really, a drip plate would just add a few bigger multiply gems. I don't like it for this. And it's okay. It doesn't hit super hard. Only 2 million, but again, possibility for stun lock. I think the other stun lock build, honestly, is better. Uh, hits harder, plus issues, that sort of thing. Uh, but this is certainly an option. And now, uh, my last one. I think this one is by far the best. Uh, we'll see what you guys think. You don't need 17k Santa. Uh, very little needed. Everyone should be able to run this. Pyro plate buffs at 50%. Dog-eared gremlin plate would buff at 100%. Um, and that would be quite good. I have two pyro plates, one dog-eared gremlin, so unlikely I would put it here uh, when I have one. If I have two, I like keeping it in a permanent spot, so I probably would use the pyro plate, but dog-eared gremlin plate would be better. 
right order. We've seen them all. Um, so just to refresh, six, seven, and seven, we start with the sub. I love that it's four turns uh, because it's pyros and that lowers them. That works out really well. And then we're going to go Snoop for 20% blue. Seamus for 12k. You could stick Memrock here if you have Memrock instead of Snoop. Uh, and that would be fine. Um, check this one out. I like this one. I'll probably run it a couple times for you guys because this is my favorite. It's quite good. And it drains them. Also, a nice thing is you're going to move the pin bar, right? So this is, you're just making a row break to break the pyros as many as you want. Um, I would say we're changing them all blue anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll take this one. Actually, no. Let's get these, these blue gems. Yeah, no, that's fine. Fine. Everything's fine. So you're going to drain him with the sub every time and then recycle the blues with this. Five point seven million reduced to four eight. Really good. Um, I've hit harder for sure. I'll run that a couple times. We'll crank it up to two times speed. Since it's my favorite, I will run it a couple times. Dog ear gremlin plate will hit a little bit harder. Uh, fifty percent more on the blues. Um, over the pyro plate. But yeah, this is the move set for her. I like it a lot, in my opinion, anyway. Doesn't need anything super fancy. The pyro plate is nice to have, but you don't need it. I can take it off and show you how hard we hit without it too, by the way, guys. I'll do that after I run. I run like two like this. This has been really fast for six builds. We're at 17 minutes. Um, and then I'll go ahead and take the uh, pyro plate off and run a couple so you can see damage comparison. Not the best spread there. That was only 4.3, but again, fully recycled. You can see we left a lot on the board that time. Um, so that was a little bit bad luck, but one more and then I'll switch over to the pyro. Without the pyro, I mean. Actually, on this one, I'm just going to go ahead and put Mem Rock on so people can see that real quick. And then um, I'll take the pyro off and put Snoop back on. Should be able to get a good smack here. Hopefully. This should be chunky. There we go. 7.4 million uh, reduced to 6.2. Death's kiss. All right. Uh, I'll take the pyro plate off and then go back to Snoop. I'm, I'm assuming, hopefully, watching this, you can see why this is my favorite move set for her. Uh, out of all of them. Although she does have a ton of options, which is nice. Okay, no pyro plate, and then let's take Memrock off for those of you 
um, who do not have Memrock and go back to Snow. Sorry, I had a brain fart. You can also use Hall of Fame China. She's 20% as well. Sometimes breaking less is more on the multiplies um, because you want to keep them packed tight, right? So um, I'll show you what I mean. If the board kind of works that way. So, like, um, we can make 19 into blue. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. These four would be ideal. Um, I think I might take this row up a little bit higher. only 16 uh, so this is a really not great spread and it only hit for 4 million so let me run that again probably would have been we only had two on the bottom row that time but again it's not really a big deal because you just go right back to that four turn sub Should be a solid one. Decent amount of blue in there. We should get almost all of it, I think. Yeah, we just missed one there. So 5.5 million reduced to 4.5, even without mem and without the pyro plate. That's really good, considering uh, if you don't keep them down, it's gonna recycle. So let's talk about Nikki and where she fits in to the Strikers. Um, Striker is my least favorite ladies class, to be honest. I don't care for having to put a drip plate on um, Alexa or Bianca. And, and for Alexa, you need a drip plate and it's a lot of clicking. Uh, Bianca, you need all of her moments, the multiples, her gear helps, and then a drip plate. Uh, Shayna's fairly defensive, but I don't love her. Probably my least favorite person I've made six star. Um, I would say uh, didn't really have. I'm not upset with the choice. Uh, Wendy doesn't really get it done. I think Nikki, for me, for my play style, for what she brings to the table, the fact you don't need a drip and a lot of crazy stuff. Um, I love that triple blue. That's right up my alley uh, for move sets. I think she's for me the best lady striker for me. I get if other people don't think so, like if you want to use uh, Bianca, Drip, Gear, Alexa, that sort of thing. But just for gameplay, the way she works and that kind of thing, uh, I'm going to say, to me, she's the best Lady Striker. She needs doesn't need a lot to be very, very effective. And I think she will actually scale very well into 6-star uh, Silver. So her and Dakota would be at the top of my Lady's charts to bring to 6-star Silver, actually. Uh, Dakota with the drip plate, her, um, just like she is, right, with the drain and stuff. So, fantastic. Uh, Chase this month, Lady Striker. I would say the Lady Striker we needed. Um, do You do not want to miss out on her. Go get her. Uh, get her this month. She's going to be great. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully you find this video helpful. Remember to like, subscribe, and share because that really helps me out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching and good luck out there.